brilliant evening to everyone and all. I'm very privileged to be invited again today at FIA Toastmasters as the language evaluator. And as every speaker, when we speak before an audience, we not just speak to that person, we also speak to that person's theatre of the mind. Using the right words evoke feelings, you can take the person to far away places, Put that person in unexpected situations, all with the power of the right words. And the key or the essence of a good speaker is not just to be able to speak to an audience, but at the same time be able to appeal to each and every person individually. And this is what I've heard. I have heard many good users of the English language as well as the word of the day. I'd like to thank Kuma. Uh, Martin as well as Justin for using the words of the day profit, profit, uh, profit in your speeches. Now, uh, just to mention uh, some of the individuals or some of the words, uh, Serena, he began in his speech or he began as the SAA, words in various shapes or forms, as though words could take up a structure, some form, excellent use of the English language. Dark secret. Yes, I would like to hear more about your deep dark secret. Kuma, fantastic. Initiated when you first started the table topics. It is when you first introduce the table topics. Is the for the uninitiated as though it has a right of passage. You have to undergo every postmaster has to undergo the fear of the table topics. Excellent. Effortable used to describe the president. Pleasant and friendly. I think that is a very apt description for our dear president. Ice break us when he used to describe Vanessa Wong's speech. Very good play on words. Instead of icebreaker, ice break us. Fantastic. Tenacity, vigor, and confident. He used to describe the second, oh, the third speaker, Miss Jostin. Also very, very useful. Cool cucumber. Can describe the person who remains calm under pressure, and I am very sure that up in the air, 14,000 feet, it takes a lot of control to remain calm and in control. Tongue lashing, I'm sure you know a lot about that. Yes, <laughs> I can see. Yes, from experience, I think you bear the scars of these tongue lashings at home. Yes, yes. Take away the chill, you know, take away the chill, and sometimes we we described, uh, I've seen in the movies, you know, chip away at the eyes at your heart. Chip away at the eyes of your heart and take away the chill. Play on words. Brilliant. Excellent. He also described, uh, he dis also described Mr. Mr. Chow, who has the pulse of the cabin crew. I can just imagine the doctor, and he's, a, he's probably a TCM physician, you know, measuring the pulse of the cabin crew. Someone who knows what is happening on the ground. Brilliant. Excellent. He also used, he also described, he introduced Mr. Kuma, or Mr. Mr. Singh, sorry, Mr. Singh, as speaker of the gospel truth. We all want to hear that the truth, but nothing but the truth. Excellent. Okay. Very well done. Very well done, Kuma. Uh, Mr. Martin also mentioned in his first story, searching frantically. Use of the word frantically. He was not just hurried, it's in a hurry, a sense of urgency. Excellent. Uh, bustling town, remote village. Good job. Very well done. Some of the table topic speakers, some of the words that you use, Miss Jamie, love is like a light switch. I can just imagine, you know, on and off. How I wish that was so easy. Just turn on, instant love. On, off, on, off. Yes, excellent. Hit like a strong arrow, the description. Like a strong arrow, like somebody is ready just before they release the arrow. Take you in the heart. Sneeze you up in a bath. I can't really imagine that, but no one has ever sneezed me up in the bar. But I can imagine that word sneeze. Yes, I can imagine what flashes you that smile. I know all about that smile. That is my winning smile. Flashes you that smile. Very well done, Miss Jenny. Uh, Sean mentioned face judgment and justice. Face judgment and justice against the tiger. Probably it has more some innocent villagers. Yes, face judgment and justice. And then the rustle came. Rustle is more of a sound. So you heard the rustling of the leaves, the rustling of the leaves, the breaking of twigs. Not 
so much as a team, but it's more of a sound. Russell, the sound. Uh, Adderley, firm foundation, good alliteration. Minta, I was trying to understand what you, I got the gist of what you said, and all I can describe your table topic was it is engaging, animated, and enthusiastic. Very well done. Yes? Now, for the prepared speakers, for the prepared speakers, uh, uh, Vanessa, Miss Vanessa Wong, when? Free minded child, maybe you would like to substitute it as a uh, free spirited. Free minded child, I, as a child, we are sort of untouched. So maybe we are free minded, but maybe free spirited. Free spirited. Uh, grabbing our hair in every direction. Maybe grabbing your hair or pulling your hair in every direction. Okay? Free me from my free me from my cage. It's a good metaphor, a good analogy that maybe in when we are young, we are very protected by our parents and the first step of independence, you know, you first uh, and also very good, very bad because you're leaving your country. So you can describe your country as a as a cage. Uh, it is also very well done. Excellent work. Miss uh, Felicia Ong, power of three, insensitive, inconsiderate, obnoxious. I can find some people, yes, all three. Yes, insensitive, inconsiderate, obnoxious. Very well done. Put some people over the edge. What can we change? Instead of put, what other words can we use? Push. Push some people, push the person over the edge. Yes? Uh, erodes trust. Erodes trust. Can the, the, the word erodes, what does it come to your mind? I, I can imagine like a drop of acid eroding, you know, uh, melting something. So erodes trust. Very well done. Appalling story. I am appalled by the, your story of sneakers in a refrigerator. I've never heard that before. That is really appalling. Thank you for sharing that story. Miss Jocelyn Tan, the five languages of love, some of the very good users of the English language. P4, the way with words is, uh, one of the objectives is to use uh, descriptive words, metaphors, similes, uh, Analogies in our in our speech, and I think you have demonstrated them quite well in your speech. Glamorously beautiful, glamorously beautiful, e gloriously beautiful evening. Excellent, excellent job. I thought if you could have spoken more, or you could describe that sunset, that evening, the 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 maybe the sun was setting. Uh, uh, more about the place, or your feelings, or description. How are you feeling? How are you dressed? You could have used more uh, descriptive words in your in your speech. Broken out of my fantasy. Can we substitute that with what is a better word for broken out? <coughs> interrupted. Interrupted from my fantasy. We could we could we could we could say that. Convey my love is the way I convey my love is different from the way he received it. Actually, that's quite well done. How I conveyed, and the other person received the received the message. I thought that was very well done. This sentence: the way I convey my love is different from the way he received it. Convey and receive. Excellent job. Excellent word. I I also like the strategy that you use in delivering your speech. Repeat and repeat and repeat. You make sure that the audience remembered all the five points of your speech. Words of affirmation, quality time, shower time, shower them with gifts, acts of service, physical touch. Good strategy in repeating your message to make sure that the audience is ingrained in their minds. Excellent. Excellent work. The town has the power of life and death. I think I think that is very, very true. What we say, what we do, sometimes in the in the heat of the moment, we say something that is hurtful. Uh, it's hard to take it back. It's hard to take it back, we look back and it's hard to take it back. So it is very true that the tongue has the power of life and the life and death. Excellent work. Uh, overall, very well done. Uh, Mr. Mr. Lim, Mr. Lim, on your aviation, on your on the speech of avian aviation industry, as a as a non-employee of AI, AI, I thought that speech was quite or I or that speech I thought was very uh, informative and very insightful. You took us through a history of 
aviation from the beginning, from its humble beginnings to what it is now today. Singapore, it will not be what it is without our port as well as our airport. So I like that, and the way you show the contrast between, you keep repeating, what would, can you imagine if we did not have an aviation industry? And we are so dependent, Singapore is, depends on, it depends on outside world for everything, from your TVs to your cars to even your vegetables you find, and all depends on the aviation industry, bringing all the things. Excellent work. Some of the words you use, thriving aviation industry, thriving, it's not just growing, but it's also a lot of energy behind it. Thriving, excellent word. Nine seats, hot food, in flight entertainment. I thought that wasn't. <coughs> didn't do justice to SIA when you just described it because SIA is an icon, it's a Singapore icon and I don't think it's I think it's more than just nice seats hot food that in fact they entertain oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe Scoot, maybe we we'll use that to Scoot. Maybe we we'll use that Scoot, but SIA no, I definitely don't think I would think like plush seats, plush white seats, white handrest, gourmet food, hot gourmet food. Uh, the latest in the latest in entertainment. Okay, oh, sure. I thought I thought that's good. I thought I didn't do justice to as I excellent as but still excellent work. And you use you you you, you describe the aviation industry like a game of poker, a like game of poker. And that was also a good. I thought it was quite a good <coughs> idea because there is a lot of contrast between the successful airlines and the non-successful airlines. The U.S. airlines are service is bad, unprofitable. SIA, Cathay Pacific, Emirates, uh, business class, people have a different strategy. So it's a game of poker. Excellent work, very well done. Just give me a few more seconds to round up. The evaluators, the evaluators, Marco, he described in his evaluation, bait to lead us into the speech. I thought it was very, very nice. Bait, you described your, your initial role play, bait to lead us into her into her speech to get the people interested and I definitely thought you would touch. Yep, I definitely thought you would touch. Con confidence and conviction, alliteration, mastery of the can content. Yes, definitely you showed mastery of the content. What is the opposite of master? It is maybe an apprentice, a novice, so you are master, mastery of the content, definitely. Limited faculty, unable to express our thoughts. Limited faculty. Uh, maybe we are unable to find the right words or we have a limited vocabulary so we can't use the right words to describe what we are thinking but still very well done. So well, Mr. Chow, the meal girl. I, 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 I like that as well. That, that definitely you get the, the, my grant of approval. <laughs> meal girl. Quiet, modest and well behaved. I think definitely the Singapore girl has the meal. That, that was one of the, one of the qualities. I, I, I don't think it's one of those Sarong party girls, right? No, that's not the image of the SIA girls. Or the of, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you see, he knows because he has the house of the cabin crew. as a book. Break free from the bonds of parental control. I'm sure all the young ones over there would like to. Or have already broken free from the bonds of parental control. So, that's very good. Climbing over the first hurdle of icebreaker. Yes, the first speech, the first step into Toastmasters, the icebreaker. To some people, it can be like a hurdle. And that like hurdle, climb over the first hurdle. That's a word. Air of calmness, great. Trials and tribulations. Trials and tribulations. That's a word, okay. It's the same creatures of emotion. Creatures of emotion. Another very apt description. Because we human beings are made of flesh and blood, we definitely feel, we can feel hurt. So, creatures of emotion. That's a word. Groping. Groping. I hope groping for the message in her speech. Okay, not groping for anything else. But still very good, still very well used. Groping, you know, you feel like groping in the dark for the message. Excellent work. Uh, Mr. Srinath, again, in accordance to the speech, a job objectives. Didn't just meet the objectives, but in accordance with the speech objectives. Okay, very well done. I'd like to thank all the speakers today for uh, speaking in front of the audience, thank you very much and I look forward to visiting your club today.